The city of Roswell is gearing up for its 23rd annual UFO festival. And there will be some cool new offerings for the thousands who show up for this unique event. As News 13's Elena Mendoza reports, it's unlike anything the city's ever seen. In just 15 days, these streets will be filled with people from all over the world. It's insane. It's, it's so much energy here in our community. The annual event is a four day gathering of space and alien themed fun. We always want more visitors to come here. Last year we did on average about 16,000. And so this year we're hoping to hit a little bit higher than that at 20. Spaceport Roswell is one of the new attractions. We want to give them something that they won't forget. It's a virtual reality attraction complete with flight attendants that will launch people into the universe through a headset with several journeys to choose from. We have a menu of destinations that you can go. You select your destination, whether it's in the past, or whether it's a different place or whether it's a different planet. You and your party then go into one of these pods like the one we have here. One of the feature journeys is named 1947 after the alleged UFO crash. It puts people on the spaceship moments before it collides into the desert. The great thing about virtual reality is it lets us uh, have experiences that normally we are not accessible to us. The average experience is about 15 to 20 minutes. Two other new attractions, a spacewalk with black lights and animatronics and a laser tag space called Area 52. The city says while the festival itself is a unique experience, they want something new to lure people in. And I just see us just taking off into the future with more things that that's what we want to have, more things for more people to enjoy themselves with. In Roswell, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. The festival kicks off with the city's annual 4th of July celebration featuring Billy Ray Cyrus on Thursday. The city will also turn the visitor center into a Believe Encounter, taking them through the crash, autopsy room, medical center, and possibly even the morgue. For more information, go to alwaysonkrqe.com.